Hello, my name is May. I am a solutions engineer at Workara, and this video will cover some best practices for organizing groups and access level. If you haven't already, we strongly recommend first watching the two access control intro videos so you understand Workara's access control structure and terminologies and have run through the process end to end with a single user. You can manually create groups, use CSV to create and add users to the groups, Use skim to import groups or even use APIs to create and modify groups. Note that if a group has been imported from skim, it cannot be modified in command. A skim group is recognized by the link or attachment icon next to it. Groups are for clustering users who have similar access needs within an organization. For example, San Francisco general employee will have access to basic doors like entry points or meeting rooms within the San Francisco office. San Francisco janitorial staff will have access to basic doors plus janitorial doors within the San Francisco office. Dallas janitorial staff will have access to basic doors and janitorial doors, but within the Dallas office. IT staff, all locations, will have access to basic doors plus IDF closets at all the offices because they frequently travel to different locations for maintenance and health checks of networking gear access levels give access to certain doors at certain times think of access levels as a combination of who goes where and when who being access groups where being doors and when being time for example an access level might be san francisco office general which will include the san francisco general employee group providing access to exterior doors and meeting rooms and will be active from 8 a.m to 6 p.m Another access level might be IDF closets, which will include the IT staff all locations group, provide access to the IDF closet doors, and is effect 24-7. We suggest thinking carefully about a naming convention which is consistent for both groups and access level before you start organizing your users. Consider including naming parameters like type of employees, location, times, building or floors, etc. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.